Good afternoon, my name is Russ Biggs and today I'm going to be talking about Spot in the Box. So in mid-August of this year, you might have seen these types of uh, news stories floating around uh, about USPS collection boxes being removed across the country. There are images like the one in the top left here of uh, truck, truckloads of these collection boxes being removed from communities. Also images like the one on the bottom left of collection boxes uh, being locked. Uh, and this being an election year, an election year that's um, relying very heavily on mail-in voting, this raised a lot of questions and concerns. So a number of us in the OpenStreetMap community began uh, discussing this problem and wanted to figure out a way that we could better measure uh, this, the removal of these boxes and where it was happening, to what extent it was happening. So we began discussing how we could maybe uh, build something that would help start to track this. So the first step in this was finding a data set. Um, and this is the data set we ended up using, as you see in front of you, which is a Freedom of Information Act a uh, data dump of every single USPS collection box across the country. This totals over 220,000 of them. Um, and it shows, you know, everything that was available um, in August of 2019. So it is a little old, but it gave us a good starting place to start to identify which boxes um, have not been removed and which ones have been removed. So surveying things that um, exist in the landscape, um, like these collection boxes, it's pretty easy if they exist, but it's really hard to um, find things that are missing. Um, and so I took this photo of one such case where, um, according to the Freedom of Information Act dump that I just showed, showed two collection boxes in one location. Um, and as you can see now, there's only one. Uh, the red arrow points out where uh, the pad is, where um, one of these boxes had been removed. Um, and you can see um, that's kind of the only sign you can find that um, a box has been removed. So to start to measure this and record this, uh, we built uh, Spot the Box, which is a web application at spottheBox.us. Um, and this uses that Freedom of Information Act data dump of every single collection box um, and places it on a web map for you. And you can click on any box and then mark its status. Um, you can mark it as being removed, as being present, as being out of order or locked. Uh, once you save that status, you, um, the map updates and will color code what you have surveyed it as. So uh, a filled in blue circle will represent uh, boxes that have not been removed, um, that have, their location has been confirmed as being there, uh, red for removed and orange for these out of order and locked. Uh, so upon building this, we built this very quickly over a weekend in mid-August. We got it launched very soon after this news started breaking about uh, boxes being removed. And since then, we've had um, 1,457 boxes surveyed across the country, across multiple states, um, the majority of which you can see um, over 1,300 have been marked as being present. Um, just, a, just around 90 um, were marked as being removed, and just three were uh, marked as being inoperable. Um, so the map here shows um, boxes across Portland. The hollow ones show ones that haven't been surveyed, and all the filled in circles show the ones that have been surveyed. So you can see uh, Portland. Um, reported a lot of boxes that have been removed or that the users could not find. So, um, and in, in total also were able to survey a, a pretty good number um, through Spot the Box. So you might be asking, okay, so how can we, how can we use this data maybe in an open street map context? Um, well, the, this Freedom of Information Act data um, presented a, a certain number of issues that could be discussed later, but um, mostly, you, uh, through this, I, I at least have learned a lot about how these boxes are presented and the types of data that are available on them. So this marker is on every single collection box and it contains a lot of uh, good metadata about each box. And in OpenStreetMap, we actually have tags to hold a lot of this data. Um, so one such is collection times. You can see this has the collection times. We have the operator, in this case, would be United States Postal Service, could also be something like UPS or DHL if it's a private carrier. And then a reference ID, this was very important. That's this location ID, kind of a serial number to identify that box. Um, and other attributes like drive-through, um, yes or no. So um, although we've been able to mark um, a lot of boxes through Spot the Box, um, this can also serve to add more boxes and um, update the data on OpenStreetMap. So um, all, this, all the code for this for Spot the Box is available on my GitHub. You can follow me on Twitter and please check out Spot the Box. Um, thank you very much.